Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a strawberry rhubarb pie. This pie has two layers of pastry. There is a pie crust recipe on the site along with the video that will show you how to both make the dough and how to roll out the bottom layer of uh, pastry and put it in your pie pan, which I have done here. So now what we're going to do is roll out the uh, top layer. This pie has a lattice crust, so what we need to do to make that is to roll out the pastry into uh, about a 13 inch round. That's about 30 centimeters. So first make sure to lightly flour your bottom surface and then your counter and then put a little on top of the pastry and then also rub a little on your rolling pin and when you're rolling out pastry always try to roll from the center outwards and keep um, turning the dough as you roll that prevents it from sticking, plus it, it helps to roll it out evenly. And if it cracks a little like it's done here, just kind of put it back together. Don't worry about that. My pastry is still a little cold, that's why it's doing that. So just keep turning and rolling. And if you have to add like a little more flour, just do that to prevent it from sticking. And then just feel it as you roll to make sure it's evenly rolled out. And as you go, if you, if you see it's kind of losing its round shape, you can just go around like this and kind of even it out. If you find your pastry is, is cracking a lot, it's like too cold, just leave it on your counter for a few minutes to let it uh, warm up a little. And if it starts to fall apart too much because it's too warm, you could just pop it back in the uh, refrigerator for five or 10 minutes to firm up a little. This just takes practice. So more you do it, the better you'll get. So you need about a 13 inch round. You can kind of use a ruler to make sure. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Not that critical, but if you're making a um, lattice crust for the first time, you might want to use a ruler. So have a baking sheet lined with parchment or wax paper, or even you could use foil. And what we're going to do is cut out the strips and then put them on the baking sheet. So you can either use one of these pastry um, wheels that give you a nice uh, crimped edge, or lots of times I just use a pizza wheel, or you could just even use a sharp knife. So what I'm going to do is start at the center. I'm just going to run straight down. And then working outwards, I'm going to cut the um, pastry into about three quarter inch strips. That's about two centimeters. It's, you could use a ruler and measure it all out, but I'm just going to uh, eyeball this and just try to make them all fairly even. As you can see, this is going to make a really uh, nice top to the pie. And not only does uh, a lattice crust look good on top of your pie, it all the other reason you do this is fruit pies, especially um, ones that have really juicy fruit like strawberries, there's a lot of um, juice that comes that bakes off of uh, the pie. And, you, and the lattice crust lets the um, juices escape. evaporate so that's why we're doing this if you didn't want to do if you think this is too much trouble you could also do um, if you've seen the blueberry pie recipe on the site it has pastry stars you could also just um, use that for this pie 
but this does make very nice presentation. Okay, so all I'm going to do is gently take these and just put them on the uh, baking sheet. And we're just going to pop these back into the fridge for 10, 15 minutes or until they're firm enough because once we put them on top of the pie, we don't want them to all uh, break apart. Okay, so I'm just going to cover that with a sheet of plastic and pop it back into the fridge. So now for our strawberry rhubarb filling. We will need uh, one pound, that's about 450 grams of fresh rhubarb and wash it and pat it dry and cut it into about a half inch which is about 1.5 uh, centimeter um, slices. And I put that in a large bowl. And then to that, I'm gonna add one pound of fresh strawberries that have been washed, dried, and cut into about one to one and a half inch uh, chunks. That's about four centimeters. I'm just gonna add those two together. And then to sweeten the, um, and to thicken the juices, I put in here three quarters of a cup, that's 150 grams of white granulated sugar and then to thicken up the juices, I'm going to add to that three tablespoons of, that's about 30 grams of cornstarch, or maybe you know that as corn flour, and just a touch of cinnamon, about a quarter of a teaspoon ground cinnamon, just for a little flavor. And then I'm just going to stir those together. And I'm just going to add that to the strawberries and rhubarb and just toss that to combine it. What I forgot to do, and don't do this, um, you're going to take two tablespoons of that, so I'm just going to take that right out of the bottom, and just sprinkle it on the bottom of your crust because you want the cornstarch and sugar to absorb all the fruit juices as it bakes. Oh, lucky I remember that now. So there. There we go. Okay, so we'll finish up here. Let's try to coat all the pieces. The sugar and the cornstarch. Okay. Now I'm just going to empty that. To the pie shell. And just even my sprinkle over the leftover there. And then just kind of pat it evenly, which is can. This will shrink a bit because especially the strawberries have a lot of water in them which will be released as it bakes. So there, so what we're going to do is take about one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice and I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top, adds a little flavor. Brings out all that strawberry rhubarb flavor. And then I'm just going to dot the surface with um, two tablespoons. It's about 30 grams of butter that I've put into little pieces. Gives a nice flavor to the pie. And then I've just got some either milk or cream, and I'm just going to brush the outside crust. So then when we put the lattice strips on top, we can seal it down with that. So there we go. 
And now we'll do the lattice crust. So now for our lattice crust. I have um, 12 strips of pastry. So I've divided them into six strips are going to go one way and six the other. And what you need to do is have the longest strips in the center. So I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I've taken the longest strip. I'm going to put that. And then just evenly space them. As you can see, because the outside needs a shorter strip than, say, the center. And so I get six. Just move them around until you get fairly evenly spaced. So there we have not too critical. So what I'm going to do is we want then to have the strips go the other way over and under. So I'm going to fold back every second strip, a little from the center, like so. And then we're going to start at the center. So take one of the, the longest strip. And as you can see, just lay it across like that. And then lay that down. So you can see it's over and under, weave it. And then I'm going to then lift up the opposite ones. And take the next longest, as you can see. Fold them back over, so you get the over under. And then I'll take, say, this one. That'll work. And there. So as you can see, you got a nice lattice. And I'm just going to turn it around. And get the opposite, fold back. Try not to get mixed up. And, and do this one. Yeah. As you can see, these your strips have to be cold, but still where you can move them around, not too cold, so that they break. And then let's see. Last one. And there we have it. So now, because I've sealed the edges, like I put the, um, sorry, I put the cream so we can kind of press down. So what I'm going to do, you could, you could fold them under or you could just press down. Just go around and really press down on that. seal all that. So you can see this makes a really nice looking pie. And again, as with, you know, rolling out or making the pastry, it just takes a little practice. And so you get that feel for the, um, for the dough. I'm just going to, with my fingers, just crimp the edges. So it seals it all. And then I'm just going to take a pair of scissors or you could take a knife and just cut off all the excess pastry. Don't get too much waste out of this, which is good. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just take some more either milk or cream and just brush everything with that cream. Just lightly brush. You don't want it to pool, really. As you can see, this with the lattice design, there's enough gap there for all the juices to evaporate, as, especially the strawberries as they bake. So they have so much water in them. Okay, and then just sprinkle with a little extra sugar. Now I'm just going to cover this and put it back in the fridge to chill while we um, preheat our oven. 
So have your, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 200 degrees Celsius. Put your oven rack in the lower third of the oven. And then if you, if you have a baking stone, you could just put that. Or I like, what I just do is take a baking sheet and put it with a piece of aluminum foil and put it in your oven as it's, as it's uh, preheating. So I'm just going to put this back in the fridge and preheat the oven. So our oven is preheated, so now we're going to uh, bake the pie for about 45 minutes or until the crust is a really nice golden brown and the, you can see the juices are bubbling. Now after about on 25, say 30 minutes, you might notice that the outside crust is getting a little, it's really browning. So when it, it gets to the color you like, just take one of these pie shields, if you have that, and just put it around the outside edge. Or if you don't have one of these, you could just um, take a piece of aluminum foil and just put it all the way around. So about 45 minutes. Okay, doesn't our pie look lovely? Beautiful golden brown crust. Now, you don't want to cut into this right away. Uh, you need about three, four hours um, for the juices to thicken before we cut into it. This is really nice with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joyofbaking.com.